everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my 10 favorite must-have things for the month of February. And as always, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sue Mae. Thank you for watching and welcome. And I typically do videos on luxury, lifestyle, and everyday things in between. So if that's what you're into, don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's down here somewhere. So I'm still getting over a cold, so I may sound a little nasally if you already didn't notice already. But I really wanted to get this video done because it's like already halfway through March already. So I've been seeing these videos and I find it so interesting because it's introducing me to so many new things. So I figured, you know, why don't I share what are my favorite things and hopefully you guys find this helpful. Hopefully I can make these videos monthly since I have so many things for each category already. So I broke it up into 10 categories that I'm going to choose one favorite item per category. So I'm just going to read it off the list since it's just going to be easier. So the 10 categories are skincare, makeup, hair, household, electronics, food or beverage, clothing and shoes, jewelry and accessories, handbags and SOGs, of course. And the last one is wild card, which basically could be anything that I couldn't fit in the categories or maybe an additional item that I really had to share with you guys. Every winter, my skin gets so dry, especially like in the corners of my lips, like the creases of my nose, and like random patches throughout my face. And every year, I combat it with like extra moisturizers and serums, and things work, but then I haven't found like the go-to item. This year, I incorporated face oil, which I love, love, love this. The brand that I use, is youth to the people and this has this is the McKee and Asiai prickly pear goji guys let me just tell you real quick like I haven't had any cracking or patches I'm just getting over a cold and usually with the constant runny noses and the blowing like I would automatically get all that flaky dry skin and you know with the tweezers like I'll be picking off all the dead skin none of that because of this anyone and everyone who's been complaining about dry skin i highly highly recommend this to them face oil guys try it i'm not really big on makeup but i'm going to show you what i use and love so for my brows i've been using the anastasia brow powder dual my color is the granite color and i love this it's really easy to put on i've tried it all pencils and other types of powders and this is like my favorite so far it gives you two different colors that you could kind of blend to make sure like your brows are looking their finest and this is by far my favorite brow makeup right now so now on to hair I feel like this is like a plate of like so many out there. I know it was for me. I went through so many different dry shampoos until I found the right one. And this is my holy grail. The Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I absolutely love this. I, I have dark hair and my hair does tend to get greasy. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I'll go about three to four days until I do wash my hair and this has been a lifesaver. Um, it's, it's like magic in this can. I, it, I don't know how it just sucks all of the grease and it just makes my hair look so refreshed. I have like a stockpile of these. I even have like a couple cans at work. Love, love this. Now on to household. So my husband cooks and I end up cleaning most of the times. <laughs> so the one thing that I do hate about washing dishes is like how dry it makes my hands. And then I hate when like the sponge gets really stinky or like it stinks up my hand. So I started to look for like a new glove. The gloves I had before were either too tight, too big, too floppy, too whatever. So then I came across these. What are these? These are basically rubber gloves and it already has the little silicone like scrubbers already built into the glove. So now when I wash the dishes, I don't have to like constantly have to grab onto a sponge. My hand is the sponge. So I'm just rinsing and washing. I mean, obviously this doesn't replace like a scrubber, like for pots and pans, you still have to use the scrubber and I can still use this for the scrubber. But essentially for like the things that I have to put and in, load into the dishwasher, like this is like perfect to do like a quick rinse and even to like hand wash items as well. I've been using this for about like two months now and I have been loving this. And then 
They're even so innovative. You see this little hole hook thingy? So instead of like hanging up your gloves this way and if you got like the insides wet, the water will go inside, you hang it up this way. So that way it ensures like nothing yucky is going inside your glove like geniuses. So I know this is a little boring, but so useful. So my favorite electronic are these Apple AirPods. I absolutely love these and these are like one of my essentials in my bags. I hate it dealing with like the wires and getting tangled and having to like connect the phone and these basically eliminate all of that. I've used these every day. I'll listen to podcasts, YouTube videos, uh, audiobooks. I absolutely love this and I recommend this to everyone. This definitely makes a great gift. You can't go wrong with these. And now on to food. I have two words for you guys. Actually, I think it's just one. No, no, it's, it's two. Cheese rolls. Oh, that just gives me shivers if just even saying it. So I live on the East Coast. The cheese rolls are found on the West Coast. You're probably wondering why am I talking about something that I probably can't even get my hands on, but I can. These are not that pretty right now. These are in its frozen form. I will take it in any form that it comes in. So how I came about these is my sister lives in California. She came here early February, and when she asked, What do you want me to bring from here? And I'm like, Hello, cheese rolls. So she brought me two dozen of these. My sister-in-law got another two dozen, and she brought like a couple of dozen for like the family. I think she had one suitcase dedicated to cheese rolls. So the minute I pried these away from her hands, I immediately saran wrapped each individual cheese roll and I placed it into freezer bags, uh, five at a time, so that way I could enjoy these. Slowly. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like fresh. Like the top has this like just sugary, crusty, flaky crust on top. I think I said crust too many times. There's cheese inside, but not too much cheese. And it's just like a bite of heaven. It's so, so good. I have not found its equivalent yet in the east coast be sure that i am looking so these are my favorite for february they're probably a favorite for every month but i will try to diversify for all you west coasters you're probably so bored with these and for everyone else porto's bakery in los angeles there's a couple of locations check it out and now it's available where you could order it and they ship it to you frozen and you could bake it at home it's going to be a sad dark day when i eat the last one of these <laughs> Mm. Since the next category is going to be clothing, I'm going to back it up a little bit so I could show you this. My favorite, favorite coat right now for this season is this Burberry Bolton coat here that I picked up from Saks on sale. I absolutely love this coat. I live on the East Coast, so the winters here also get very brutal. So I do have a thicker winter coat, and this is kind of like, I guess, my thinner winter coat um, when I'm gonna wear like, I guess, sweaters or something thicker, and I absolutely love this coat. I love that the hood is detachable, and one of my favorite things that I didn't like in the beginning, but I kind of like now, is how big and deep the pockets are. Like I could literally fit my whole water bottle in here. So, which is amazing. And I could actually even fit when I was vlogging the whole camera in here as well. I'm just gonna put it on. I've been wearing this very often. I wear this to work. I wear this on the weekends. And I absolutely love this coat. I get so many compliments on it. Unfortunately, I think Burberry doesn't make this coat anymore. This has been discontinued, but I think you could still get this pre-loved. I'll try to find some links for it. But if you could indulge in a nice stylish coat, I would highly recommend this one. So on to accessories. So I'm not the biggest fan of like gloves. I don't like it when my fingers like are encased in something where I don't have like easy access to my fingers. <laughs> so I did discover like obviously fingerless gloves. Essentially they're just regular gloves with like the fingertips cut off. And then like, you know, you have like little mittens to cover your fingers when it gets really cold. But then I could also have access. But then I started noticing like, you know, with like jewelry that I wear, like the gloves will kind of get snagged onto the uh, gloves. And like, it just feels like really really kind of it just feels awkward basically then I discovered these so basically this is like a long sleeve sweater that you would kind of like pull all the way down but there's a hole for the thumb and what's nice is look 
my jewelry is not getting snagged and you can still kind of see the jewelry but I love how free my fingers are right now and I love how like my jewelry is not getting snagged or like crushed inside gloves so this has been such a game changer for me I know these have probably been around but then I discovered these and then I love 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 this I actually even use this on like the coldest days which is kind of crazy I should go back to like my fingerless gloves but I really I just end up like kind of pulling it down and still using it this way because I just love this so much so these I've been loving and highly recommend and this wouldn't be a proper favorites video without mentioning a handbag or an SLG. So for my favorite bag for the month of February, I'm sure you guys are maybe sick of seeing this. I've probably posted it on Instagram and I already did a video on it. So I'm just going to cut right to it. It's the Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. I have it in the studded. I bought this pre-loved. I love this so, so much. And of course, I loved it so much, I purchased just a regular nylon one. So I have two. <laughs> I have the studded one for like my fancier outings. And then I have the regular nylon one. Um, so I use this mainly for work. And then I'll use this on the weekends depending on where we're going. These are so versatile. They're easy to maintain. It's so lightweight. It's carefree. I mean, you know, enough said about this. This definitely might be a repeat offender in my favorites category. So let's see how long that lasts. But if you're looking for a stylish backpack, I highly recommend this. And my wild card, it's gonna have to be my slip silk pillowcase. I love, love, love this. It's so soft and luxurious. It has so many benefits I've already seen for my hair, for my skin, my face. I just really, truly, truly love this. And this is definitely an indulgence. Guys, if you're looking for a gift or just something for yourselves, like that's a little extra, I would definitely go with the silk pillowcase. I, I absolutely love this. So that concludes my 10 favorite things for the month of February. And I'm sorry if you guys felt like I was going a little too fast. I just wanted to get through all of the things. But my goal wasn't to go into too much depth about each item. Uh, I probably either already have a video or will have a video on some of the items that I already mentioned. And as always, you can always leave a comment below if you have any more questions. I'll try to link as much information down in the description. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And leave a comment below just to say hello. I love connecting with people who share the same interests as I do. My goal is to post a new video every week and I'm also on Instagram so come check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate all the support I've been receiving. You guys are amazing. Bye everyone!